Give us a twirl. This is Lizelle Ninehouse planning her wedding and picking out her wedding dress. That's Claire Carson in the red. She's getting her wedding dress made. What do you think? the last one. I did too. They're both excited for their big day, but what makes them different to most brides is that they're marrying each other. So nothing's going to be flying across the sky saying, hey, gay marriage, here, come here. No, no. it's just, it's just it's a, a celebration. Wedding. It's a wedding and... I mean, if, if you didn't know that there were two brides in the wedding, then you... Yay, you just think it was... You wouldn't be any wiser. As of the 19th of August 2013, same-sex marriage will be legal in New Zealand. It just seems like people think that just because we're in this kind of relationship, we're bad people. But, I mean, we, we pay our rent, we pay our bills, we've got jobs, we've got pets, and we just, we live... Just the same. Meeting three years ago, engaged a year later, they're the same as many other couples, working, playing sport with friends and hanging out. I don't know, we're best friends. Yeah, we actually like hanging out with each other. And despite having a laugh over their age... We joke on our age difference. Yeah, <laughs> 12 years between us. They don't joke about being treated equally. If you're in a relationship that's stable and loving and committed, I can't see why you shouldn't doesn't matter what sex you are. Be able to marry that person. You know, a lot of it revolves, the I just think it revolves around sex. But they don't see the whole big picture there. Yeah. They, they think, are just you know, in a normal relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it's a relationship as any other. It's got its ups and downs and we argue and we talk about stuff. and Fight we, for the covers. We laugh <laughs> and we play and, and all that kind of thing. Just like everyone else does. Although it hasn't always been easy, they believe times are changing. Down, down the track, you know. it'll be yeah. a lot more accepted and people won't look at you twice. They won't make a funny face at you or keep their kids from talking to you or anything like that just because, you know, you're in a same-sex relationship. Yeah, I mean, I think about it, how it's changed from... <clears throat> well, 25 years or so ago, it was illegal. You'd have gone to jail mm. and now we can get married. They say the biggest fear was coming out to their parents. I couldn't tell them verbally. I ended up writing a letter and giving it to my mum and she read it and I just burst into tears and I said, and she goes, that's okay, we kind of um, suspected it. But even then they, they, they had their own troubles with it. They, my father didn't really talk to me for about three months. I knew from growing up in such a very strict religious family that that was wrong and it was a hard journey and I hated it and I tried to have as many boyfriends as I could and <laughs> just try to fight it as hard as I could and when I was 19 I was just like you know I can't I can't keep fighting it because it's just who I am you know did you wake up one day <laughs> going oh my goodness um, I think I like people of the opposite sex I don't think anyone would consciously make a choice like that yeah. It's hard. For you to be able to, to love somebody else as much, you need to be able to love yourself. Um, and that's one big lesson that I learned out of it, it, was to learn to love myself and then I could give that same love to, to somebody else. To me. <laughs> <laughs> the question on everyone's mind, the proposal. We went to a really nice restaurant and we had, you know, starters and main course and then before dessert, I said, right, we need to talk. I said, well, you know, I've had a great year and, you know, I love you very much, but I really don't want to be your girlfriend. And I was just sitting there going, what? <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> I said, you, you should be my wife instead. Or will you be my wife instead? Something like that. I was very it nervous. Was all I was blurry. crying. <laughs> Next minute you're on your knee going, will you marry me? And I was like, uh. Okay. What was originally planned as a civil union is now going to be a marriage. And it's okay. something we've been looking forward to for two years and then it's finally going to be there. So, And I'm very excited and very nervous, 
So I'll be crying for most of the day. I'll just be bawling my eyes out. They mm. better have waterproof makeup on me. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're officially tying the knot. It feels better to say, hey, we're married rather than civil all union. we can have is a civil union. Because, yeah. I mean, it's human rights, really. What well, it comes down to, we're, we're just the same as everyone else. All we want is just the exact same rights. We don't want special treatment. We just want the same treatment. The same treatment, the same legal rights. We want to go travelling and all that sort of thing. So for us to be married gives us a better chance if either one of us ever got into any sort of trouble or you know, whatever happens, happens. We'd be a lot safer. In our, in well, our it's more recognised as a marriage yeah. there when you are travelling. And while they're happy with their fur babies, <laughs> the bill still has open doors for other same-sex couples. Well, we're not really looking at having children. Um, but for a marriage, if you are wanting to adopt children as a same-sex couple, it means that you're actually able to. Mm. Hello. Um, one <laughs> yeah. of the few babies. Um, but as a same-sex couple in a civil union, own, you can only foster children. You can't actually adopt. illegally adopt them. Only one of the... Partners can. One of the partners can, but not both as a couple. It's yeah. not recognised like that. And this is what the bills actually pass, which is really amazing... The bill passing, meaning they can sort out the final details for their big day. With the date set... The 23rd of November is the date we've got. The colours chosen. Traditional, white, silver, black, and then just a little bit of purple and pink. Just hints of it. The cake decided... I'm a chocoholic, so the cutting cake is going to be a Mississippi mud cake. And the location, Langdale Estate. I'm a country pumpkin. And I like wine. <laughs> they'll both walk down a separate aisle and meet in the middle. And they're keeping with a time-honoured trend. We're not going to see each other like the day before and we don't know what the other one's wearing on the day. And mm. Bridesmaids, bridesmen, you know, the yeah. other half being walked up the aisle. First dance, yeah, speeches, you know, all that stuff. All that stuff, including picking what to wear. I was so overwhelmed yesterday, OMG, because I don't do that <laughs> stuff. And I don't wear dresses in that, unless I have to or it's a certain occasion that requires it. I think it hit me. I was like, whoa, I I'm trying on wedding dresses. <laughs> and the old wedding rhyme? Pretty much. <laughs> something old and something new. Something borrowed and something blue. Yeah. A few final thoughts before their big day. I'm um, going to be like, is she going to turn up? No, I'm just kidding, because I know you're going <laughs> to... You better turn up. I will be there. <laughs> I will be there. We'll make it a date. Okay. Okay. A date. Date. <laughs>